Hi guys, I'm back again. Yes, this quickly. Uh, quick intro here. Strike while the iron's hot. One or two tweaks on the carriage stop. Many thanks for all the comments on the in the various uh, parts. And uh, uh, three things I think were mentioned which I've implemented. Uh, Giovanni was one person who mentioned about flip the adjusting screw 180 degrees so the detent pressure is the way it wants to be so there's no backlash and uh, Peter Week made two excellent suggestions one was to shorten the screws the lock-up screws so that if the leather fell out the uh, screw wouldn't come down metal on metal on the ways shorten those and also Peter suggested machining a bevel <clears throat> on what we call the new side after the adjuster is flipped. Uh, I didn't want to put a bevel on there particularly but I thought I'd just run 5 sixteenths end mill down to make a shelf. I'll show you that in a minute. I always repeat myself. And the other thing, uh, sometime, which I've mentioned I think, I've seen my machinist friend Dick had a look around his shop. I'll do a quick vid on that. Great character. Be, be good to watch that. And also, uh, after the fashion of some of Adam's travelling videos, I, I did a look around Bedford, my local town. Very pretty place. The sun was out. So I took some footage and I'll try and show you that sometime later. All right, uh, on with just show you these tweaks and uh, an old crescent wrench. I got quite a while back. I'll show you before and after. It's a bit beat up, but you know, old stuff's nice. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye. Here we are, fitted in place, nice and solid. Um, we've changed this round, we've flipped it 180, and then I come in a bit closer, see if the focus holds. I think it will. Um, you see here, I've used a 516 end mill half diameter just made a little shelf and then put a a new mark on here which didn't which didn't punch quite straight anyway that gives me visual from above very logical thank you peter so obvious and as i said i think uh the numbers are backwards now so when I'm advancing, we're going 0, 0, 45, 40, 35, what the hell, maybe I'll make a new one. And then these, you see there's just about, uh, I don't know, the leathers are not quite the same thickness. We've got about three, 332 there and 16th there. And if the leather disappears, these won't impact the ways. All right. And the uh, day temp ball is still doing its job. In the process of getting it back in, I think I lost two springs and two ball bearings. <laughs> it flew off everywhere. But that's, I've got to put a bit of pressure on that to make it turn. All right, that's enough. I don't want to bore the hell out of you, uh, but very useful tweaks. So thanks to everybody. There you are, just one more look. I couldn't quite tell how much you could see when it was fitted on the lathe. Reversed adjuster, milled out slot, fresh mark, not quite straight, <laughs> and uh, shorter thread. So I think basically that is it. No more unless I make another one of these, which I may do. All right. Well, this was a flea market acquisition. Didn't pay much for it. It says Bonnie on here. 12 inch. And I've always loved the shape of these uh, crescent wrenches. Very old style. The there is movement on the jaw, but at the moment I can't get the uh, pin out. But uh, 
and the jaws need tidied up too, they're a bit beaten up. I'm going to give that end a soak in some uh, evaporust, try and clean it up a bit and then see where we go from there. Maybe a waste of time. Failing all else, it'll be a wall hanger. <laughs> that uh, crescent wrench, I've cleaned up a little bit. It's better than it was. The jaw's been abused, particularly this side. You see that? Not very good. But I've got the jaws a bit more square. Not sure whether it'll even be used a lot. As I said originally, I, I, I love these old tools. So anyway, that's another for the collection. Yeah, I'm back. I wasn't going to put anything on the end, but I'll tell you what, I remembered something. I always forget something. Uh, who was it now? A uh, Bill Clifford sent me a comment question about the uh, milling machine and whether I got uh, power on the axes. Uh, the answer, Bill, is no. The reason I'm mentioning this is that uh, his comment isn't showing up. I had notification, but it isn't there on the relevant page. And somebody else, and I cannot remember the name, I tried to dig out the comment. I've, I've lost it. Uh, I've lost it long ago. <laughs> um, a very lengthy comment, full of useful thoughts. Uh, when I went to review it, I didn't have an option to um, accept. Same applied to Bill Clifford's. All I had was flag it or trash it. I did actually put a copy of the long one up, which may have been on part two, I'm not sure. Anyway, the point is, now and again, and I think Harold had this, I'm not sure, somebody kindly sends a comment and I don't know whether it comes through Google Plus, it may be that. So I get notification, but I cannot find it on the uh, uh, web page. Very frustrating, because I, uh, uh, most people now I respond to comments. It's getting to the point sometimes where it's, it's hard to do it with so many, which I appreciate. Uh, but if you comment and I, I don't reply, invariably it will not be because I'm ignoring you it's because I've got notification in my email and nothing on the web page so apologies it does happen now and again I'm just letting you know all right right now I say goodbye finally <laughs> see, you, see you soon guys I hope bye